First driver comes to us all the way from Texas. It's Jameson driving for the Cash Money Boys. Jameson is driving in a Ford Thunderbird. He qualified with a time of 15.1378 seconds. Next up, we have Rubber Toe from Monster Motorsports Diecast Racing. Oh, this guy right here is a man after my own heart. The Nintendo and Mega Man theme on a Nissan Maxima wagon. I mean, he literally has Mega Man on his side. It is a pretty awesome looking wagon. Our next driver got happy with the Hydro Dip. It's CJ Hines driving for Steel Town Rundown Racing. Wow, that's an awesome looking paint job on that Cadillac Seville. It's a work of art 3D, a work of art. It's very cool indeed. All these cars for season four have been very nice. Well, uh, art is subjective. Yes, this car uh, from Road Rage Racing, that makes oh, okay, sense. Okay, I get it now. It's driven by a speed bump, or it's driven over a speed bump, or... It may have ran into a speed bump, or it is the speed bump. I will say that it has a lot of character to it. Yes, lots of character. Here we go, they're lined up for the first of four races. The top driver in points will advance on to King of the Mountain Season 4, Tournament Number 1. Jameson in the red and black Thunderbird starting in the pole position. He's got a nice early lead here. Rubber Toe and CJ Hines fighting for second. CJ Hines passes him up on the turn. Whoa, now hold on to it. Jameson all over the place. He gets knocked off the road. Wow. CJ Hines takes the lead in the Cadillac Seville. Here he goes across the bridge to win race one with a track time of 16.8864 seconds. Wow, Jameson really blew that one. You know, with a name like Jameson, I'm just wondering. What's in this cup? 2D. I'm just saying it seems like he may have had a little too many, you know. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Jameson getting stared down by that spectator. They appear to be having a few choice words. Well, he almost ran him over. I'd be pretty upset, too. Let's go to the replay and see what happened there. Here he is coming out of the corner, hits the side, goes way up on two wheels. He's lucky he didn't roll it. And then right here, a hard hit on the nose from that Cadillac. And then he just pulls it over to the side. See, he did run into that guy. Well, that is a good reminder that if you're in Ray City, make sure you have those waivers filled out. You can pick them up here at 3D Botmaker Studios or at pretty much any local business in the area. Lawson Station, McDonald's hands them out with every meal. Yeah, they stuff them in your bag like napkins. Well, based on what we've seen so far, knock on wood, I think this is going to be the most incident-free season of King of the Mountain. I like your optimism, 3D. Hey, we've got guardrails now. What could go wrong? Rubber Toe currently in the lead. Look at him go. He's got the power of Mega Man. Nobody even close to Rubber Toe at this moment. This will be an easy win for Team Monster Motors. Oh, oh my. Fatality. Was that really necessary? I thought it was situationally appropriate. Rubber Toe flipping his wagon off the road and into the crowd. Do they have the safety team coming? Okay, good. The safety team is on their way. That's good. You know, we were just talking about waivers, and it's moments like these that remind you you got to fill out the paperwork. Absolutely. Imagine if these people did not fill out their waivers. Oh, it would have been a disaster. Here's the replay. A wild flip by Rubber Toe in that wagon. And did you see that he managed to stick the landing? He stuck the landing onto the spectators. Yeah, well, he still landed it. Here it is from the sky cam. I think he hit about four to five people. That's not too bad, right? I think in season three, we only had one person ever get hit by a car. Oh, that's right. His name is Robert Paulson. Yes, his name is Robert Paulson. His, His name, name is Robert, Robert Paulson. Good news, the safety team is out there. Well, their vehicles are out there. These guys are really taking their sweet time. You know, it's times like these that really remind you of the important things in life. Ah, yes. You know, the things that are near and dear to your heart, literally. You mean like a t-shirt? Well, since you brought that up, we do have new merch in the store, 3dbotmaker.com. It's the new King of the Mountain Season 4 logo. Oh, that's sweet. You can get the brand new design on other items as well, like coffee mugs, stickers, hoodies, even a backpack. Just head on over to 3dbotmaker.com and look for the link to the merch store. Also, the direct link to the merch store is in the description below. Support the channel and look good doing it. Yes, we appreciate everyone's support. And there they go for race three. We got speed bump in the yellow beetle starting in the pole position. I hope he doesn't get run over. Rubber toe right on his tail, followed by CJ Hines in the Cadillac. Speed bump still out front, bumping around. Rubber toe knocking on his door. He's still knocking, but Speed Bump is not letting him in. Wow, that little bill is doing pretty good. Here comes Speed Bump over the bridge. And Speed Bump will get his first win of the night with a time of 16.6858 seconds. 
speed bump getting shoved by rubber toe after the finish. Oh, what's he doing right here? Look at this. I don't think he appreciated that hit. He's pushing him back. Look at that 3D. Speed bump putting rubber toe in his place in the most gentle way possible. You gotta respect that. He's like, hey, look, I'm in a beetle, but I'm not just gonna be pushed around. But he's so gentle about it, he kind of de-escalates the situation. You know, I gotta say, I did not expect that car to win any races tonight. He was the slowest qualifier in this group, but as we like to say, anything can happen in Race City. Now, Speed Bump is number two on the scoreboard. Rubber Toe currently has 11. Speed Bump has nine. CJ Hines has eight. And Jameson, who had the fastest qualifying time, is on the bottom with four. So he's got no chance. Nope, it all comes down to Rubber Toe, Speed Bump, and CJ Hines. Rubber Toe with a two-point lead, but he's starting all the way in the back row with CJ Hines in the pole position. They're all lined up at the start for the fourth and final race. Who will move on to King of the Mountain Season 4, Tournament Number 1? Let's go! A close race here, all four cars grouped together. They're through the first big turn. Jameson now taking the lead, followed by C.J. Hines. Rubber Toe back in third. Let's see if Jameson can stay on the road. So far, he has the only DNF of the night. Rubber Toe battling it out with C.J. Hines. And whoa! Finish him! So we have a finish him button now. Again, I thought it was situationally appropriate. Well, you're not wrong. I thought it was pretty good. I mean, I guess. Steve, what do you think? Oh, yes, yeah, good. Steve likes it. That's great. Uh, Rubber Toe is our winner of the night. He finishes with 13 points. CJ Hines was in second with 11. Let me talk to him, 3D. Okay. What is it that we learned here today? Forget all about the crowds, the waivers, and the new merch. Uh, no, we don't want them to forget about the new merch. That's right. Uh, remember the new merch. But there's an important lesson to learn here tonight. And what exactly is that? Rubber Toe of Monster Motorsports Diecast Racing put Mega Man on his wagon and it was awesome. That's it? It's freaking awesome, 3D. All you're saying is that you like his car. He has Mega Man. Wow, okay. Uh, Rubber Toe moves on to season four, tournament number one, and is currently qualified in second place with a time of 15.4839 seconds. We hope you enjoyed tonight's race. Until next time, I'm 3D Botmaker. And I'm 2D. And you've been watching King, King of the Mountain. Mountain.